G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number four of my live Bayern Munich career mode. This is going to be the final episode in the transfer window, so hopefully we can make a few decent signings. We might have a few games towards the back end of the episode, so hopefully we can we can continue this great winning streak, but we're going to progress now on to the transfers. So the first uh, thing here, Loic Remy has declined the contract offer, unfortunately, so we are going to offer him... Uh, wait, let's see what his reasoning was. He wants a bigger role in the squad. So, let's say £80,000, three years, and an important first-team player. I think I offered him a squad rotation role last time, so important first-team player might go down nicely. Okay, lads, we are in transfer deadline day, and Loic Remy has accepted our contract. Hell yeah. He is our newest signing into the squad. He is going to be our backup striker. Cost us £11 million from Newcastle United. So that is nice. Let's go in here and see. He's 80 overall, of course. Uh, but let's get him on to the subs bench. He can replace Wyrich. Look how OP he is, guys. He's got like 90 space, uh, 90 pace, excuse me. Not the greatest of stamina, but he is really OP. All of us know how OP like Remy is. Six hours to go and there's nothing happening yet. Five hours. This is not a great transfer window or transfer deadline day so far. Let's progress. Four hours to go. Nothing yet again. Not happy at all. Want to get a little bit of action on here. Three hours to go. Nothing. And it looks like we're not going to be getting anything happening on transfer deadline day besides the signing of Loic Remy. Let's progress to the final hour. Nothing else happened for us, so what I'm quickly going to do is just take a look at the players we have signed. So, uh, players in have been Lewandowski, Hummels, De Vrij, and Remy. And then players out have been uh, Martinez, Mandzukic, Zingel, Dante, and Radar. So hopefully, uh, that is not, we do, hopefully we don't have to pay for any of those uh, transfers. And you'll see here that transfer deadline day has ended, so not a very exciting transfer deadline day. Um, yeah, so we're going to progress now and focus on the games. Alright guys, we have our first matchup of the episode. It is going to be away to Freiburg in the Bundesliga. It is a game that I am confident that we can win. We are going to use the alternate kit for a change coming up against their home kit, which is pretty cool. Freiburg do have some pretty cool kits, as you would have just seen. Uh, so yeah, I will see you in the matchup. We are playing a very strong side as well because it is our first game. Uh, well, it is our last game, I should say, until we go on international break, and then we have like two weeks of a break, so we can play a full strength sword, so I'll see you guys in the game. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, let's get there. Oh, crap. Oh, he, how has he missed that one? That is so lucky on our behalf. Here we go, Lewandowski plays it through. Oh, yes, on the run. Here we go, Frank Ribery, the Frenchman, plays it through to Thomas Muller. Can he get an opening goal? Oh, good save there from the Freiburg keeper. Unlucky there, Thomas Muller, not to get the goal. Who's supporting him? Get it out to Rivery. Oh, yes, he tackles him. He Ronaldo chops. That's a foul, surely. Yes, we will take the free kick. Thank you very much. In a very dangerous position for uh, the opposition. Let's see if we can get into the back of the net. Cruz has good free kicks. Who else has good free kicks? Uh, we're going to take it with Cruz. Let us dink it over the wall a little bit. We'll aim between the two guys' heads and release the Kraken. Oh, bad luck there, Cruz. Make the tackle. Yes, good tackle, Cruz. To Lewandowski. Yes, there's the run from Mario Goetze. Come on, the World Cup hero. He's one on one. G Train. Yes, a goal to G Train. Mario Goetze getting the goal to give us a 1 0 advantage over Freiburg in the middle of the second half. G Train providing the goods. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. oh, my God. That was bloody close there for the Freiburg player. My God, we were lucky there. Look at this on the replay. Let's see how close that was. Oh, pretty damn close. One minute out of the time. Let's see if we can get another goal to seal the victory. Referee's going to blow full time any second now. Let's just get the tackle to get it away from here. Oh, crap. Don't let them score at the last second, lads. Hummels close down the gap. Yes, that's going to be full time. We defeat uh, Freiburg 1 0. G Train, Mario Goetz, the World Cup hero, getting the goal for the victory, just like he did in the World Cup final uh, the other day. Uh, Luke Remy, promising signs. Very happy with how the lads performed. 
All right, lads, we are at the start of September. Here is the squad report. So, Noya has progressed to an 88-rated card, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, Lom down to an 86. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, really. Just a few of the players progressing nicely, but not much for the rest of the squad. Uh, Ripley, unfortunately, going down a little bit. Goethe has gone up plus one, which is good. Uh, Lewandowski up to an 87. He's had a great start to his Munich career. Uh, five goals to kick off the season. Uh, Remy Decent, not much else around the squad. Uh, I'll let you know if there's any key performers. Uh, a few plus ones here and there for the young fellas. Uh, but besides that, Van Boynton down to an 86. Really need to get him off our books, even though he's retiring at the end of the season. Um, but yeah, not much going on there. The squad is coming along nicely. Alright lads, we are going to move on into our second matchup of the episode. It is our first Champions League game. It is against Olympic Lyon. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, our uh, table, our group for the Champions League is obviously us, Ajax, Lyon and Shakhtar. A group that I am extremely comfortable that we will win. Uh, so the first challenge is going to be Lyon. They are coming to us and versing us. Uh, at the uh, at the Allianz Arena, so I'm pretty confident that we can get the victory. That is a very strong side we are playing. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the game as always. Shit, let's not concede on the break here. You take him, Balotang. You sit in this middle. Oh yes, good tackle, Balotang. Ah, uh, too heavy of a touch. Let's not concede off this corner. I'm bringing Balotang in the box. Actually, let him mark the guy out the wide. So lucky we did because it went out there. Oh uh, crap, they got a bit of space. No way they fucked it up. Let's get to Briand. Oh, crap. That's terrible defending. Oh, crap. Gorkov. Oh, yes. Good stuff, Boateng. Oh, what a save, Neuer. Closed down the post very well, keeping uh, Olympic Leon out. Here we go. Let's look and see off this corner. Get to it, Lam. Philly Lam. Getting it out to Robin. Let's make the counter-attack, Robin. Come on, mate. Come on. Yeah, let's play it through to Lewandowski. Get some support in the center there. Let's just hit it wide. Oh, yes, there's the run. There's the run. G-Train. G-Train getting another goal. Giving us a 1-0 advantage. Mario Goethe, what a great start to the season he is having. He is fully now going to be known as G-Train in memory of the awesome Paul Gallen, the rugby league player from Cronulla Sharks. Good old G-Train is now Mario Goethe. 1-0 against Olympic Leon lads. Awesome stuff. Oh, crap. Gorkov is free. All right, let's close down to Einstein. Oh, crap. Not enough. Oh, what a save from Manuel Neuer. It's all going on at the start of this game, lads. Let's not concede off the corner. It's going in there. Oh, yes. Beautifully put away there. Ribery gets around the defender. He passes it to Lewandowski. He waits for it. He's going to play it through nicely to Alaba. Come on. There's the run. Lewandowski. Come on, mate. Oh, yes. Good touch, Lewandowski. Come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. To finish it, mate. Yes, this is awesome. It's been so even to begin the game, but we've just been making the most of our opportunities. We've had two opportunities, two world-class finishes, and I cannot be more happy at the moment, lads. Neuer's had a great start to the game, and our forwards have had an even better one. 2-0, lads. First, yep, there we go. Ribery plays it through to Thiago. He's going to another chop. Oh, he's got all the time in the world. He's going to have it for himself. Oh, it's off the post. Bad luck there, Thiago, mate. Lime's going to cut back in. Passing it to Muller. Who's going to play it through to Thiago? Who's going to... Oh, fail it there. Crap. Slide tackle. Oh, what a save from Neuer making himself big. He's going to close down the angle. and up. Drop back, drop back. Cover the goals just in case. Ah, oh, damn. They've made it 2-1. They're back in this game. Pretty easy stuff there. Nice finish from... Uh, gone alongs, but uh, mainly our fault. Brought Neuer too far off the line. Oh well, lads, we're still in the driver's seat. Let's not concede late on in this game. Go to him, Ribery. Ah, far out. I'll have a close it down. We don't want to concede late on. We deserve to win it. Offside. Thank you. That'll seal the victory here. We're going to belt it upfield. Only a minute of added time. The referee is going to blow his whistle any second now. We might even be able to get another goal. No, nope, he's going to blow his whistle. Full time here. Come on. Oh, shit. If he hasn't blown, you have failed. You shouldn't have passed it back, mate. But 2-1, we defeat Olympic Leon in our first Champions League game. 
a great matchup and a great effort from the lads. We deserve to win by more goals. Uh, the, both keepers, especially Neuer, had great games. Uh, so I'm very happy with that result. 2-1 lads to get our first three Champions League points. Moving on, lads, to the final game of the episode. It is going to be a tough one away from home against Schalke, a side that uh, are going to be a bit of a challenge, but I am confident that we can get the victory. They have a very nice squad. That is the squad we are going with on the right. Loic Remy starting his first game, and DeVry and Badstu becoming in in the centre-back positions, and Shakiri getting a rare game in the right midfielder spot, even though he deserves it, so I'll see you guys in the game. We are sitting in first position in the Bundesliga, absolutely awesome, undefeated with an 11 goal difference, so we are in the driver's seat at the moment. I don't know how this ref has blown, not blown half time yet, this has been the longest one minute of my life. Oh, plays the ball there, too ribbery, come on, let's make the most of it, takes the shot, oh, and he puts it wide, this has been the most boring first half of my life, what the hell? Gertz has been injured. Oh, no, he's hyperextended his knee. No, not G-Train. He's had a great start to the season. Oh, that is so annoying, lads. That is probably why the first half, like, the first like extra minute on extra time has been, like, forever, and it's meant to only be one minute. They'll probably blow half-time whistle here. Yep, half-time, lads. What a boring first half. Oh, nil all. Shit, a brick. Kevin Prince, Boatang. Oh, crap. Stop it. Oh, what a, what a tackle there from DeVries. Yes. Oh, that is lucky. This has been such an intense game. Whip it up, Phil Neuer. For the full time call. Nil all, lads. First draw of the season. Very, very boring game until like the last couple of minutes. Not much happening. It was very boring compared to the Leon game. Not happy with how we played attackingly. Defensively, we were great, but attackingly, was not happy at all. Nil all against Schalke, guys. That's annoying. All right, so Gertz has unfortunately suffered a hyperextended knee. He's going to be out for about four weeks. Not great news. Big G Train's been in great form as of late, so it's not a good time for him to get injured, but at least we have plenty of midfield substitutions and replacements for Gertz. So as we are going to wrap up the episode here, episode number four of my live Bayern Munich career mode series. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure that you leave a like. Uh, the next episode, we are going to be playing Wolfsburg, Shakhtar Nest, Bayer Leverkusen, uh, and maybe, depending on how many goals are scored, SFV Mains 05. So lads, as I said before, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new around here. The growth. The growth, excuse me, has been great as of late. We're almost at 6,000 subscribers, so help get me there by clicking that subscribe button. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter at JaredHD. And if you're looking for coins, make sure you check out ufifa.com and use the discount code Jared to get 5% off at checkout. Anyways, lads, hope you have a great day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace. This that crack to go, my flow more than us than pistachio. Zoo troop gang gon' crash the show. I was never one to care for theatricals. Look.